Hey everybody, Dave Basulto, FilmmakingCentral.com, inside my absolute favorite editor, Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. It is blazing fast and has so many wonderful features that I'm going to be doing tutorials on. Uh, but today, I want to show you one of the key points of buying that should make you buy Premiere Pro CS5. Uh, it is a no-brainer and it's going to speed up tons of your workflows. Um, so let's take a look. And what I'm talking about is the new Ultra Keyer, uh, which has been around for a while. Actually, uh, I remember years ago going to the DV Expo and seeing the Ultra guys doing uh, their, I think it was Visual Communicator then, uh, but it was an amazing tool uh, that I saw them, uh, you know, chroma keying stuff and doing live presentations, um, just like, you know, the networks. And I thought, wow, that is really cool. And Lo and behold, Adobe bought the company and has done some stuff with it, uh, but never enough, of course, to satisfy our tastes. And uh, of course, on CS5, since it's the ultra amazing editor, um, they added it to it. So I'm gonna show you how awesome it is. Uh, if you just uh, have some green screen footage here, my friend Valerie McCaffrey, casting director, we worked on a little project that we were just putting together really quickly to see if uh, we wanted to go forward with it. Uh, I just threw up a green screen uh, with some crappy lights that I had. And as you could see at the time, um, you know, we've got a lot of creases here. Uh, we've got shadows. It's just looking like hell, uh, which would terrify anybody. So, and I was just going to, you know, key it out and put something, you know, put some different backgrounds back there and, and some graphics and just, it was kind of a, a test. It was like a spur of the moment thing. Don't think I'm that horrible in green screen setting up. <laughs> okay. So uh, what, I, what we're going to do here, though, is I clipped a little bit here in our timeline. I'm going to go into the search under effects panel. You can see the effects panel right here in your area down here. I'm going to type in ultra, and it's right there. You could also go into video effects keen, and you'll find ultra. And just drag it on. And if I just double click on my footage, go into the effects control, you'll see it right here, ultra. And what the, one of the things I do and I like to key is, of course, find the darkest points. So I'm going to take my little eyedropper and I'm going to look around in here in this little shadowy area and just click on that. And now it's fine. If you look back in the key color, it's pretty dark. And you can see that it's done a little something, but nothing what we need. So I'm going to go into alpha channel mode. Now, everything in white I want and everything in black are in gray, uh, I want to be black. So let's go into the matte generation. And transparency, I want, well, I'm gonna leave that back in the 45 range for now. Uh, I'm gonna mess around with the highlights a little bit. If I blow them out, you see what happens. So let's bring them down. Taking a lot of the highlights out. Uh, we're going to the shadows there you see now if I bring the shadows way down you see I've got all these holes here which is not good because that's going to be transparent so let's bring the shadows back up a little bit take the 75 tolerance I'm going to leave around I'm going to go into pedestal if I crank the pedestal up to say 50 you can see I'm getting a really nice key and let's just go back into the um, composite mode and check on it. So there she is. And if I uh, press the play button here, we can see that's a pretty damn good key. We've got a little spill going on. And of course, you know, we can fix that. So let's, uh, I'm going to leave the matte generation alone. I'm going to go into the matte cleanup. I'm going to choke it maybe, let's just put three and see how that looks. And that's pretty good. I mean, this is, <laughs> I, it blows me away every time I do this. That's why I have moments of silence. Um, so the choke is actually choking it in a little bit, uh, bringing in the edges. Um, you can also go into your spill suppressions if you want to desaturate or, or mess with the spill a little bit. So let's just bring that down to maybe uh, spill. Let's go to 45, see what happens there. And we'll just scrub the timeline. One other thing you notice is I'm scrubbing the timeline, the timeline, and look how fast it's moving. 
And this isn't even my machine that has a Quadro in it. So this just has the normal um, ATI card, and the, the new Mercury engine is blazing fast. Okay, so um, that's it. Let me take a look. Let's let's bring in something behind her. Let's uh, bring uh, her footage up one level, so we have it on to video track two. Um, I have something in here, some footage. Let's just bring this in here and let it reset. And let's uh, go into this footage here and we'll scale it up. And let's press play. So take a look at that ultra keyer. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I'm going to turn off the ultra key for a second. So you see what we started with and what we've gotten to. And I guarantee you with some color correcting work, this will look really uh, like an amazing shot, like she's there in this uh, really colorful field, wherever that is. This is Art Beats footage, by the way. So that's it. Uh, that's one of the biggest reasons to pick up uh, Premiere Pro CS5. It's just amazing. If you're doing green screen work and you don't want to go into other products, uh, you're right there with Ultra Keyer. So check it out. Uh, there's a link below. Try a demo today, a full service 30 day demo, Premiere Pro CS5. I love it. And this is the Ultra Keyer in Premiere Pro CS5. Thanks so much.